As to be expected, the chlorine bottle after some time began to leak, and I guess it was where the thread and the PTFE tape were, so nothing wrong with the valve. I however needed to use up that chlorine bottle before the leak became even bigger and therefore I decided to bubble the chlorine gas through the bromide waste solution collected after making potassium bromate. As you can see the chlorine bubbles are immediately reacting and the chlorine bubbles don't even reach the top. As this continued, the solution became redder and redder and although this is not enough chlorine, at a future point I'm going to bubble even more chlorine through it before distilling the bromine. There's no need to waste this when I can at least recover 150 ml of bromine. I hope you liked today's video and I also hope that you learned something new. You cannot trust these DIY lecture bottles if you don't know how to properly store them. If it bursted, I would have been able to deal with it, but it's unlikely that you would be able to deal with it too.